Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to game 6 of the NBA Finals tonight in Miami. American Airlines Arena might be hosting the final game of the NBA season if the Heat can pull this one off on their home grounds. But Draymond Green and Steph Curry are ready to play. They know if they win this game, Game 7 is an oracle where they dominate opponents. And we have to avoid that, which is why Dwayne Wade drawing an early foul on Draymond Green is so big. We can't come out like the Less desperate team because you know the Warriors are playing with their season on the line. We have to match their intensity and hopefully come out even stronger. And right now, that seems to be the MO. Wade is making plays. Whiteside just did a grown man dunk because you guys did a double team tice. And Wade with the behind the back to Whiteside for the slam. Wade is dishing and diming tonight, looking like. Denny Tice out there, and Denny Tice, the sharp shooter he is. Of course, Denny Tice had a buzzer beater in game five, which is why the Miami Heat are up 3-2 in this series, but he couldn't knock that one down in the first quarter. Still four points to assist early on. That's a turnover, but then Luol Deng gives it right back. Sloppy basketball right there ends up being a backcourt on Dang. Double team again on Denny Tice. I'm not even doing anything and they're still double teaming me they're just mad that we got that game winner in game five they're trying to make sure Tice isn't the guy Curry is the guy for this team he's able to find Thornton ball moves and Harrison Barnes drains a three we were up early on this game but the Warriors are making a nice run and Azili caps it off by giving them the lead 14 to 6 just like that near the end of the first an iffy foul on Denny Tice is going to send the sharpshooter Steph Curry to the free throw line so we're definitely not happy about that because that gave them the lead at the end of the first. Tice putting up a shot. And Danny Tice at the buzzer again. Danny Tice can do no wrong. These threes are unbelievable. Curry had a great contest as we throw up the lob. And Gerald Green throws it down. Tice is putting on a show in the NBA Finals. This is the kind of exhibition you see in, what, game 47 of the regular season as Draymond Green has picked off where he left off in game 5, knocking down threes. Draymond Green was high. He has found his offense, and that's not good news for the Miami Heat because when Draymond can stretch the floor, knock down those threes, then he gets driving lanes, he gets assists, Tice putting up floaters, and <laughs> it's just going to be an all-out battle. Both teams have come prepared. Both teams are playing defense as it's been all series long. And Drogic getting the and one right there. It's back and forth all night. It might come down to the fourth quarter again. Thompson's on the ground. Tice for three. Bang. Thompson flops. And ten. Denny Tice pops right there. A hot start for the point guard for Miami. Seven for eight. But Clay Thompson with the answer. He knew he gave a mistake on defense. And he came back with some nice offense. Curry. From downtown. Curry hasn't seen a lot of those open threes. And that wasn't really an open three. But I mean, for Curry, only he's a little slitter of space. And he'll get it to go. Wade for three is not exactly like one of the Splash Brothers. He can't get that to go on the break. Curry finding Barnes. Can't get the end one. But does draw the second foul on Tice. And that will end Denny Tice's playing time in the first half. We go to the bench. It's a three-point game, but Draymond has the quick answer. Once again, Warrior season on the line. Tice trying to win a championship for the Heat, and the floater is good. It would be very, very nice to win this game, not just because we win the championship tonight, because we win it in front of our home crowd, but Steph Curry will do anything to make sure that his team comes out on top, including this pull-up jumper, which is good. Curry and Tice trading blows Tice with 20 in the game. Curry with a bunch of points himself. We're also dishing out here, finding the open man in the paint. Curry back on the offensive end, pulling up, hand in his face. Good defense by Tice. Still a good shot from Curry. You know Curry can knock those down all day long. Wade with the ball, finding Tice for three. Bang! Denny Tice knocks it down. Wade once again, finding the open man when he plays. Wade is our secondary ball handler. Tice is the primary defender, and he's starting to get in a rhythm on defense locking down curry and these floaters have been nothing but net well nothing but net but they have been pretty automatic they do find their way down as draymond fades and hits draymond green does not there is no give up in draymond green's vocabulary there is nothing but 
fight in that man as Curry continues to miss everything. Those shots fell down early, but eventually even the greatest jump shooter won't be able to knock down those tough fading shots as Whiteside, not the greatest jump shooter, but is able to get that to go. Tice pump faking, spinning away in the paint, but Andrew Bogan is there for the help defense. Bogan and Draymond have been defensive forces in the paint, as has Whiteside on our end of the court as Tice drives, step back, pull up. And it's good. Took a friendly bounce right there. And it's a seven point Miami lead near the end of the third. Now a nine point lead. Iguodala from downtown. Timely shot from the veteran Andre Iguodala. And Whiteside with the answer. The and one as Tice gets a short breather. Comes back into the game with 6.53 left. The Warriors did cut the deficit while he was gone. Four point game. Curry spinning, pulling, hitting. Steph Curry pulling it up. But his team is down in this game. They need more Curry heroics. And they can't have Clay Thompson missing shots like that. Almost an and one on the putback. Tice one more time drawing a double team. Bosh can't knock down the big three. Dang on the board. And Dang is going to the free throw line. So we trade free throw blows pretty much. Back to a five point game. Thompson with the ball. Thompson to Bogut from mid. Got it. Andrew Bogut with a big time shot. Bogut is usually the fifth option on this team. Still though a five point lead for the Heat. Draymond Green. At the end of the shot clock, timely shots all night long, keeping the Warriors in this game for not just the game, but the season offensive foul on Denny Tice with 240 or 234 left. Gives the Warriors the ball, but once again, they continue to miss. Way to Tice Curry on him. Bosch sets the pick. Bosch is open from mid, pulling, heading. Chris Bosch makes it a six point game. Two minutes to go in the game and potentially the year. So one more time, it's going to have to be Curry. No one else can make these shots, but number 30 on the team. Thompson with the ball. He's going to try. He finds Green. Green almost gets the end one. He is going to the free throw line. He makes both four-point game. Wade with the ball, spinning, driving. White side layup is good. Wade one more time, creating and devastating. And now the Warriors might need a three. The clock is dwindling on them. Who's going to take the shot? Thompson with the ball. Six seconds on the shot clock. Thompson is all. All locked up. Thompson is fading. Thompson is hitting. What a shot. Clay Thompson with Bosch all over him. And now a dagger for the season might be on the line here. The ball is in Dwayne Way's hands. Number three is spinning. Wide open. Dang. Baseline. No good. Draymond on the board. And the Warriors have a chance to tie. Game six up with 17.4 seconds left. That was their final timeout. They called. They might have to look for the three here. They're looking for Curry. Tice almost steals the inbound. Curry is locked up. Draymond Green pulling. Draymond's got it to go, but it's a one-point game. They're going to have to play the foul game from here. Tice is not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. And Denny Tice is at the line for two ginormous free throws. He could solidify the championship tonight if he makes the second one. Perfect release. Three-point game. You know Curry's gonna get the ball. They need a three out of timeouts. Eight seconds left. Iguodala to Clay. Ball moves around. Curry. Iguodala. Draymond. Bogut with the ball. Fading. Bogut's off. The season is over. The championship is claimed by Denny Tice in the Miami Heat. Curry is down on his knees. Devastated. Meanwhile, Dwayne Wade joins the fray. His fourth NBA championship. And for Denny Tice, his first. What defense at the end of that game. It came down to a bogey three. As you see, Dwayne Wade, he knows Denny Tice helped him win that fourth ring. And he is celebrating. He is savoring what might be his last chance at the title for Denny Tice. This might be the first of many. Denny Tice is also your finals MVP. As you see, Wade congratulating Steve Kerr on coaching a great six-game series. Steph Curry and Draymond Green are denied of their second championship. And they can only watch as this Miami crowd goes wild for their team. Denny Tice having trophies in each hand. That's how good of a season it was. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed the series. Subscribe for more and I will catch you guys next time for the start of next season with Denny Tice and the Miami Heat.